Hi guys, Wartums here and welcome to another Fall Guys video. In today's video we'll take a look at some tips and tricks for the survival event Rollout. Rollout is a classic seasonal 1 survival type game where you avoid the slime until X amount of players has been eliminated. The level is shaped as a sideways cylinder with 3 or 5 moving parts, each consisting of platforms with gaps between them, topped off with obstacles in the form of walls and donut stacks. A variation you can often experience is fruit cannons that will add an extra layer of difficulty. Throughout the duration of the level you'll have to switch between each moving part multiple times to make sure you don't fall into the slime. Personally, I try to switch only between two of the moving rolls to familiarize myself with the pattern of platforms, gaps and obstacles. This way I can plan my movement a bit ahead, as I know what will be coming up. When moving from one roll to another, try to not go further down than around 45 degree angle on the roll, as you can easily slide off. If you want to practice where the tipping point is for sliding off or not, make sure to only practice when there's a wall there to catch you. When switching from one role to another, make sure to focus on which platform you actually want to go to and make it a priority to go for bigger and broader ones as they will keep you more safe from griefers. Another reason why you want to stay away from the smaller and slimmer platforms is that even though you know what you're doing, other players might not. In general, you want to try and be as safe as possible. So even though it may be more boring, try avoiding risky stuff like jumping onto horizontal walls, jumping over gaps between platforms and grabbing other players making them more likely to grab you. When you get the fruit cannon variation there's a few things you want to do on top of all the strategies I've already touched upon. First of all you want to keep an eye on the cannons by moving the camera so you're ready when they fire. Actually seeing the fruit will be your best weapon if you can't do step 2 which is stand behind walls. Running from wall to wall will give you some nice cover. Lastly, if you're playing on the 5 roll variant, try to spend as much time on the outermost rolls as possible, as the cannons will only shoot to the 3 middle ones. It's now your turn to take what you've learned from this video and apply it to your own gameplay. With enough practice, the W's will come in no time. If you enjoyed the video, or just found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more future guides. Also, don't forget to leave a comment on which map you'd like to see a guide on next time. If there was a section you didn't quite understand, or you'd like me to flesh out some of the points that I had, make sure to find me on Twitch, where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, link in the description down below. I have been Wartrums, and you have been you, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, and a good life, bye.